Hey, this is the Kilt Father Mark Gunn, and I wanted to talk about gift giving in relation to creating great rewards on Kickstarter. So, my Kickstarter for As Long As I'm Flying, the new Brown Coat Firefly album, is doing great. I just broke $6,000 uh, this, this morning when I woke up, and I was like, woohoo! Uh, I'm really excited. I've been adding, last week I added a bunch of new re rewards, which I think helped. Um, and I've been doing a lot of, just trying to do a lot of regular promotion, trying to get the word out. I don't feel like it's spreading nearly as much as I would like. Meaning I don't feel like people are really talking about it. And I don't know exactly why. Again, it's Firefly, so, you know, the show ended 15 years ago. So maybe that has something to do with it. But nevertheless, I would love to see it spread a little bit more. So if you are... Uh, if you enjoy what I do, then please help me spread the the. I've been have some videos which are good advertisements for the uh, for the campaign. So if you could spread those, that would be really I really appreciate that. But I did put together some new rewards, and I wanted to share a little bit about them. But first, I want to take you back to the sixth grade. It's when I had a uh, they had one of those entrepreneurial uh, events for kids where you get to sell something to the to uh, you know fellow classmates and whatnot and learn a little bit about you know business and such uh, for me I I got uh, I made some I think they're like Duncan Hines chocolate chip cookies and put them into cheap plastic bags and I calculated the cost I don't know it was pretty cheap you know, 15 cents or something or less per cookie, but I don't know. I don't remember the details, but I do remember sitting at my table selling nothing. <laughs> so finally, I, I had with me in my backpack uh, a, a deck of, of baseball cards, and I thought back to when I was a kid, and I was younger, rather, and... <laughs> And I would get those baseball cards, and they'd have a stick of gum in there. And I thought, wouldn't it be cool if, you know, you bought a base, a, uh, a cookie, and you got a baseball card? I didn't think about, you know, who this was for or any of those details. I just said, wouldn't that be cool? I think that'd be cool. So I put some baseball cards in there. And most of them were pretty, you know, common ones. And I put one, like, really good one. But they're in these cheap plastic baggies, and, and no one can really tell the difference. And so... <laughs> Uh, I think I sold that one, and I think that's about it. I may have sold one other cookie, but uh, I, I'm i sure, looking back now, knowing that that was a, a good baseball card, I probably lost $10 or $20, if you include the, the price of the, the cookie mix, uh, creating this, this crappy little product, um, and not really thinking about my customers and thinking about what you want, which is... Uh, Sort of how I came uh, came across uh, the the rewards that I have created for my Firefly CD. Uh, trying to think about what you want, and I, I got to say it's it is the toughest thing creating great rewards on Kickstarter because you you got to think of come up something number one that gives value, and number two that is something that gets people excited. When I started the campaign, I only had CDs available, um, and I didn't even think I didn't even think to add like uh you know you get both copies of the Firefly CDs you know as long as I'm flying and Firefly drinking songs I was just doing it strictly for as long as I'm flying and that's all I was focusing on and I, I had multiple re reward levels including you know I have a, a t-shirt and tote that I want to to uh, print for this uh, project as well but um, I didn't have more details I didn't have anything that would make this, make it, um, you know, explode, I guess. And, uh, I didn't, I also didn't have digital re rewards. So last week I said, you know, why don't I add digital rewards and I'll add, uh, CDs. And so I added these new levels sent out a message and I've gotten a great response. It's, uh, jumped me up a couple thousand dollars, uh, and still going. So that's awesome. Um, I th the digital actually hasn't even been as as big as I expected. Of course, you can go to Patreon and become a patron, and you'll get a digital copy when I finally release the album that way. So you know, maybe the, most of those people are just doing it that way. That's great. Um, I'd rather have you on Patreon in general. 
Today, I added a couple more rewards. Uh, number one was the name on my soul feature, which is basically I will write your name on my auto heart. Eh, you know, I don't think it's uh, something necessarily that anyone, many people are going to go for. But I added, set it up with a limit of one person. Um, you know, limit a ex- little bit of exclusivity. I might do that once each for each uh, campaign that I do. I, I kind of like that little. I think it's a neat little special thing that could happen for people. And the other w- one that I just added was um, I was going to make see about making boxes uh, that were hand painted uh, by me or Kenzie, probably Kenzie, because Kenzie is a really good painter and I thought it'd be neat and then I'd add in some special things from my Celtic invasion of Brittany and since this will close before then I can find out uh, I can get collect these uh, cool little knickknacks while I'm in Brittany and hopefully uh, bring you a special gift in there plus you get all the CDs that you would, would have gotten uh, from the what is it, the $150 level so it's a neat extra special thing that I'm trying to put together um, I'm not sure how well it'll do you know, it's a high price point, uh, but it should be, it should be good. Um, we'll see how it goes. Uh, again, as I think about those though, um, these are also coming from me. These are, um, I'm thinking about myself far more than I am you. And that's, that's the biggest problem. I was listening to a podcast about the world's greatest gift giver. It was over on, uh, Tim Ferriss. Um, his uh, podcast, and he has uh, this this gift. I don't remember the guy's name, but he, he's he's a guy who gives really good gifts. And I've learned a lot about giving good gifts from my wife. She is outstanding about it. And and really, what it boils down to, it's the same thing as sales. It's about um, giving something that they want, not what you want to give. If you think about most gifts there's two ba- there's basically two different types there's gifts that you want to give and there's gifts that people want to receive um, the gifts that you want to give that's kind of selfish these are gifts that that you know it's again it's all about you it's not really about the person you might be thinking you're going to make their life better by giving giving some, them something that you want them to have. But it's selfish. It's you. It's all about you. It's really not about them. Um, and, you know, most people are, think that way. I, I know I, I am terrible. I've learned a lot from my wife, Gwen, because she's uh, one of these people who uh, gives uh, what she thinks about what you would want, actually want. And it's it's tough. You have to know the person to really uh, figure that out. There was a the guy from the Tim Ferriss podcast. He an example that he had was for uh, I think he was had met Warren Buffett, and Warren Buffett took an interest in something that he was good at, and he said, "When are you going to write a book about that?" And so, what is this guy doing? He's writing a book for Warren Buffett. No one else. He's writing for Warren Buffett. And, you know, maybe it'll end up be published or something, but the gift is ultimately for Warren Buffett because Warren Buffett asked. He said, will you make, <laughs> when are you going to make this for me? Um, which, again, that that is an amazing gift. It, it's it's thinking about someone else. I, I, some of this comes up because Inara has a birthday coming up on um, May 18th. And she'll be turning two years old. And of course, at two years old, you don't really think about the people, people at all. When you get a gift, you're thinking about, woohoo, I got something. I don't even care what it is, but I, you know, you don't really, it, it's not really important that you, you, it's the important part is that you're ripping open some sort of paper and that's half the, the, the joy of the, uh, the gift. Uh, it's not about, what the gift is, you know, and Gwen and I, for instance, we, we, ha- we don't have a lot of, we don't want a lot of stuff in our lives. I'm trying to get rid of a lot of the junk that it's in, in my house. And, and, uh, you know, she, Gwen has always been good at getting rid of, uh, stuff, but, uh, I'm just recently have decided I'm going to start clearing, clearing out as much as I can so that I can just have things that are actually important to me, less clutter in, in my life, in my house. And so we were thinking about, you know, when we send out uh, requests for gifts, we the, the gifts that we 
are looking for an R, what are those? Those are going to be things that um, will give education and experiences. I think those two are probably the biggest things. Uh, you know, books are always wonderful. If you get a, find a good book that a two-year-old will, will get excited about and read uh, frequently, then awesome. Um, so that's a, that's a great you know, gift for a child because, you know, learning is important. The second one is experiences. And so one of the things we were like looking for, um, uh, gift certificates or some sort of, uh, passes to like the Georgia aquarium or the Chattanooga aquarium or to some, uh, parks or something, because those are exciting experiences that will be really valuable for, uh, her, you know, it's sort of like when we took Kenzie to, to Ireland and when she was like one and a half years old or so. And the experience of going there, which she will not remember, um, will impact her, will affect her, her life. And those things are, are so much more important. That's a good thought right there though, is, is, uh, you know, as far as gift giving is, you know, um, experiences and, and, um, uh, uh, you know, education. Those are those are some of the most important things. Is a uh, growing one's mind. I, I'm not a, you know. Again, we don't need stuff. But that's a good way to look at Kickstarter when you're creating rewards for Kickstarter. Is uh, picking on things that people want, not what you want. You have to put your mind in their body for a second and try to imagine what they, you know, what is a Firefly fan want? And that's a really good question. Obviously in this case, they're going to want the music. Some of them are going to want the, the swag, the, the, uh, t-shirts and totes, something that says, you know, I love Firefly. And from there, who knows? I guess a lot of that depends on you. It depends on your your fans that you have, and um, and what your imagination can come up and what can you, you can financially afford. I, I did have made adjustments to my stretch goals because I realized I was going to kill myself um, for you know these extra uh, for some changed products. So like I, I have a stretch had a stretch goal for uh cd for uh adding full drum kits to most of the songs on the album and i realized it's gonna cost me five thousand dollars to do this so i had to push that number back uh quite a bit um you know so now it's a that 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 level is is stretch goal is at twenty thousand dollars same thing with like you know doing an official music video is going to cost me a couple grand and so if i'm not going to make a money off this then i should better you know have good money make you know cover the costs um and stretch goals of course are less set in stone um though i will be eventually creating i want to create a graphic for them but yeah you never mind uh but any case i have set hit several stretch goals already um right now i think we have a i'm sending out my music to get be played by other musicians um and I have another goal that kind of scares me. The $8,000 goal is where I will live stream writing a song uh, live uh, for online. And uh, this kind of scares me uh, quite a bit, honestly. Because um, <laughs> I don't consider myself a great songwriter. And I, I probably I have to, you know, have some sort of... Um, I, I, I don't know. I'm not entirely sure. I'd probably be a process... I have to work out a process for this because it's very likely at this point in time that I might actually hit that goal. Um, I'm hoping so, <laughs> but it scares me so much. And the other one was uh, the the ten thousand dollar goal. Actually, I have this. I was said I would record one of my Firefly drinking song shows, but I think what I might do is uh, there's this there's this former pub at the Louisiana Renaissance Festival, which is no longer used. It's it's uh, dusty, dirty. It'd be the perfect place to do a, a live concert uh, of Firefly drinking songs at the fair. And I'm going to, I want to try to make this happen. You know, I want to get the people all dustied and dirtied up and muddied up and then go out there and put on a show. I think that'd be just fun and hilarious at the same time so um we'll see if i can hit that goal 
All right, that's all there is. If you enjoy this uh, podcast, then go like and subscribe at keltfather.com. Oh, another quick bit of news is the Celtic Music Podcast. The Irish and Celtic Music Podcast has officially moved to the Libsyn uh, web hosting. I'm tearing down the old dedicated server and getting rid of it. Yay! So, in any case, like and subscribe, and also check out the Kickstarter. You can still go to markgun.com forward slash Kickstarter. It should redirect you to the Kickstarter page, uh, so go do that. Thank you so much for listening. I hope you enjoyed this, and I will talk to you later. Sláinte.